<laughs> Do you want to see if we can grow carrots? Oh, don't tell me. We've never ever had luck with no, carrots. We have. We, oh, have we, we once? We've had luck with carrots, but only um, in our uh, greenhouse. Yeah. Uh, the first year. Politano. Po- uh, sorry, Politano. Pol- 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 Politano. Pol- pol- okay. And um, we've never managed to grow carrots outside. Outside. They've always been stolen. <laughs> hey! Oh no! What the <laughs> hell is that? <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay. What do you think about that? <laughs> when are we show the people. Right? Show them. Oh my gosh! What is that? So it's Sunday, we just got back from the market and we had a really busy one and um, I just want to say thank you to my Mikey. She was promoted to sous chef, I was promoted to head chef and we did a great job. Yes, we did. <laughs> and um, the reason for us not being, or for Stev not being at the market today. He's very lazy. Uh, yes, that's <laughs> very, very lazy. Wow. Look at this, we can get another 30 chickens. <laughs> well, this is just temporary for now. Explain why. Because we had some more dogs. Yeah. Different dogs. Come in and try to get it. Luckily, what we did to the coop was strong enough at the time. We've reinforced it again. Um, so they never got in, but they obviously terrorized the chicken. Or well, yesterday afternoon. Yeah. Say. So we put this up to give another extra barrier of protection. It looks really good, guys. Yeah, it's temporary, so it's not perfect yet. Uh, but we will do it much better. But I think we've done a... Sure, good. you've done an excellent awesome job. Wow. We look inside. That's at least half a meter in. Well done. And point. this was and this was all Stevens and um, and, Brad. and Brad today. Wow! Thank you so so much. Go have a look at the what we do for our galingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good to get them used to it. Yeah. Now they're fun. <laughs> hey, my babies. <laughs> This just got very serious. <laughs> The chicken whisperer is on a mission. <laughs> That's fair, I haven't done this all while. When I did it, I have built all this fencing by myself. You see? Yeah, it's done, it's done. It's done. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Got to go around that tree. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing. What we're doing? We're going around the tree. Two swords down on the floor as well, then we can do the other. So I'll have to. Okay, well, here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no problem. You're each Dave. We'll, we'll join hands and do it together. First of all, the, the the, the, I literally don't have to touch it. Yeah, it's touching. Yeah, let me do that again. Oh, Woo! We have got a post bed, huh? Right. Is everyone, nobody's touching the fence, are they? No. I see the needle move. Okay, so that's what it does. So when you, just to show you, so in the morning, yeah. turn it off in order to go in. You turn it on, it does the needle all that way just to show you the needle's working. Oh, okay. And, and then, then, it's, it's, then yeah. it will do the test to show you how much power's going through. Okay. So it's going to do it. And basically, as it says, 
Yeah, we're all good. Yeah, and I know it's wholesome. Yeah, yellow, uh, I'm going to put it on red. Touch it, Brett, touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> There you go! That's a cool surprise! Wow! I don't know, if you're talking again, that is just pellets. Where's the good stuff? The pellets. Where's the good stuff? No, don't make it No While I've been laying a couple of blocks, Natalia's been pruning. Doing a good job, looks like it. How's it going, yeah? Uh, Ow. I might have gotten carried away, but as you can see. Yeah, there's a lot of dead stuff on it, yeah. I think next year we're going to have to see if we can somehow get one of those electric shears. So not working so much, the battery's flat. It's oh, we're gonna have to try some, I get one of those, I think. But yeah, it looks like there's a lot that we've um, pruned. Yeah. Um, which it is, but it's, um, as you can see, it's needed. I'm gonna have to come take that one piece off there because there's nothing on it. Yeah, there's nothing on it. Okay, I'll, have to, yeah, I'll get that off for the saw. No, it's not coming off for that, it. yeah. <laughs> I'll get the saw later. But just looking at everything on the ground, it reminds me of the first. The first um, yeah, no, uh, nothing, 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 nothing. Had. Boom. And then um, we're like, oh, these these locals are killing their trees. <laughs> but There's they do once in a while. They the they do need a good prune. They I think. do, they do. And I don't think I've done too badly. Like, Let's see. The lights a bit on. bad, but yeah, we still have uh, branches. Yeah, still looks good. On. Compared to some of the others we've seen people do, where there's literally just a few twigs left on the end of the branches. <laughs> And they survive. And they next yeah, year they, they have survive. olives again. So I don't think we'll have as many olives um, this uh, December. No. But, um, we should still have enough. Yeah, we'll still have a bit. I think. Hey, Frankie. Are you coming to inspect my work? He's arrived. <laughs> Gonna come with me. Right, don't keep me out of my work. Okay, I'll go do work. some more work my side. Yes. So our first prune, well, serious prune in two years. And um, in this weather, it's uh, quite a workout. <laughs> but um, I need something a bit stronger than what I'm using at the moment to um, prune the tree. So I'm going to ask Devj if he can, if I can borrow his muscles for just a little bit. <laughs> and wouldn't it be nice to just have a day like this? Hey, Frankie. Bonjour. Yeah. The life. Yeah. Now or seeing. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> I don't think anyone's picking olives from that height. <laughs> Careful. Some good firewood for next year. Some big branches. Your soil looks nice now. Oh. Bye bye, donkey. It's like a whole new tree that we just took down. It looks much better. It does. The ones up here. Have... Yeah. And these are our eating olives here on the right and on the left, so we want to keep them at a 
manageable height that we can pick olives. So then we don't shake it. Exactly. This is our lovely garden. It's looking beautiful. <laughs> yes, yes. On the to-do list, we do have some onions and what else growing in here, Stevs? Garlic, lettuce, uh, broccoli, bok choy, cabbage, beetroot. Hard to say with all these weeds in there, but it is in there. <laughs> Lots of weeds. And this is how far we've gotten today. But I think we still got like another hour and a half to go maybe. Depending on how long our batteries last. <laughs> I'm going this two blocks. <laughs> Steph says the speed is going is only two blocks. Oh goodness. Well done, Steph. Sure. What a day. <laughs> hey, you made it nice and level at the back. Yeah, getting better. Well done. So we must apologize to those who have recently joined us. Um, sorry, I don't know if you can hear me, but our next door neighbor is busy plowing. <laughs> um, oh, Frankie. And Frankie is like literally Plowing under my feet. feet. <laughs> but uh, for those who have recently joined us, uh, we do forget that not everyone has been following us from the beginning. And you're probably thinking, what are these two up to? Um, but yes, we're building a garage. Garage, sorry, storage room. Storage a room? Garage. What do you say, Steve? Not a garage. Not a garage, a storage room. And um, we've applied for a habitation license. And there were just two requirements that we needed to do. Um, we've done the one, uh, which was insulate our um, current home. And the second one is to enlarge our bathroom, which we haven't done. Um, it is winter and I wasn't really in the mood to be without a bathroom. And uh, so we've put that on hold and um, we submitted a new project, which was a, a storage room and another big project, which we haven't revealed just yet. Um, so when we are finished with everything, the engineers and whoever else is involved will come and um, hopefully sign us off and we get our habitation license. Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, they've given us a, a timeline. We have about a year and a bit um, to get done. And um, we would like to get, we would like to be done at the end of this year. We. Yes. The royal because <laughs> as much as we are enjoying building, um, I don't necessarily want to be living on a building site for two years or three years, however long it's going to take. But um, we are new at this, and obviously things take time. So who knows? But uh, that is the plan, to be finished by this year. And the other project will, reveal, will be revealed shortly. Don't worry. It will. <laughs> we are building up our skills <laughs> before we reveal that one. <laughs> hey, at the, Frankie. At the same time, building up our friends so that if the skills don't work, the friends can do <laughs> Don't be lazy. Only joking. <laughs> Can't believe the nice weather that we're having. It's lovely. I mean, Steve's just wearing t-shirts and shorts. Sure. It's about to be too late for that. It's getting. The sun's gonna go dip behind there just now. Man. Yeah. All the jerseys come back on. What's up, Frankie? Hmm? Do you wanna say hello to everybody? To your fan club. <laughs> Uh, you're one of a kind. But um, yes, I guess I'm going to water a little bit. We do have some rain coming, um, I think, in two days' time. But yeah, we're not sure when exactly and how much. And um, it's been fairly warm for the past two weeks. And I don't want my current veggies and, and a few that are growing, <laughs> that are growing to die. Put the pump Thanks, Dave. Right, it's uh, feeding the Galingish time. They've um, settled in really well. And um, as for the dogs that we had on our uh, property uh, on the weekend, we haven't seen them. Uh, they haven't been back. So hopefully the owners um, found them and um, hopefully they won't be back. 
but uh, they are very excited for tea time. Well, this just happened. Swingush, <laughs> you need to wait. <laughs> oh, don't all of you start jumping at the same time. So Nata and Flo are always together. They become friends. Again. I guess you don't learn. It was an accident. I do oh. apologize. Tell him, Frankie. Just got excited to see Frankie and I Not forgot Frankie about like the wall. The, <laughs> you weigh a bit more than him. <gasps> Frankie, go bite him. <laughs> Last one for the day. Mm. I just wanted to let you know you do match your wheels today. <laughs> I do. So we're going to put this to the test because a year ago we tried to um, bring our, I keep forgetting the name. Car? No, a car with the trailer. trailer. <laughs> um, and we got stuck. So let's see if this can do it with me yeah, on. This can carry away. <gasps> Easy peasy. <laughs> that was exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
send this fortress that we have for our galenas. <laughs> How many eggs? We've got six eggs. Woohoo! We're eating too much gourmet salads. For those of you wondering about this fair, this fair is actually on the For those of you wondering about this fence, this was a temporary fix to a problem we were having with dogs. Uh, the mesh, we know the mesh is quite big. We are still going to cover that with chicken wire pretty soon mm -hmm. so that the girls and baby Sue, whose name is still going to be decided on, mm -hmm. uh, can at least range a little bit bigger, in a bigger bit of a bigger area, should I say. Yeah. Um, but this was a temporary fix to a problem with we, they had, we had with uh, dogs yeah. roaming on trying to get in the coop. So yes, it's not going to keep out mongoose or anything like that at the moment. Even when with the chicken mesh, it won't keep out mongoose, but the coop is strong enough now, if we believe. <clears throat> to keep out pretty much anything and that wants to get happy. to them. They seem very happy. They need another perch. They do, yeah. Oh, I see. That's where the electric fence fell over there. I must go pick that side up. Oh. Just collecting pine cones for fire starters. Mm -hmm. I've got my shopping bag. <laughs> it's supposed to be rainy and cold the next couple of days. Yeah. Not as cold as winter, but colder than it has been the last couple of days. So we're just preparing. So this piece of land belongs to a neighbor and he said we can help ourselves to pine cones whenever we feel like it. Yes. And then any dead fall. Yeah. So, so here we go. Yeah. That, that is one one thing that I actually wish we did have was a piece of forestry. Yeah, that would be nice. Just a small yeah. piece, just this size would be nice, yeah. So that we could have a uh, wood. This little piece behind to... us would be nice, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. One day maybe. It's for free. For free for now. Camellia is flowering nicely, with lots of buds as well. First spring. Spring's a bit early. <laughs> Where do you want your new lychee tree? Um, a bit more. Yes, I think they looks good. Okay. I think you're going to have to move it a little bit more this way. Apologies. Why? So that it can follow the line of the other tree. You couldn't look at the line of the trees earlier. <laughs> Sorry. There's something for your chickens. Oh, thank you. Sure That's the spot. So we finally found a lychee tree and um, learned today that most of you know it as a lychee tree, <laughs> which was a first for us. Yeah, we've always known it as a lychee. Yeah. So um, hopefully it won't die. Um, it says it can withstand temperatures up to minus five. That's what it says on the label. And um, according to the label, it also says that we'll um, be having lychees in August at exactly three o'clock. Every day. Read the, read the label there. <laughs> read it on the other side. Yeah, that side. This? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what does it say? There's a rush to... At three o'clock. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Let's see. August three o'clock every day, we'll be having lychees. <laughs> Really. Looks nice and healthy. So let's see if we can keep this one alive. <laughs> I will do my best. No, us. <laughs> I wasn't singling you, I was saying me. <laughs>